Forerunner, as you see it today, started in 1997. It was a small shuttle system at the time, three routes, a couple of buses. Um, over the course of the years, it grew from a result of different studies done through Center for Urban Transportation Research, known as Cutter here at USF. Uh, it expanded to off-campus areas, and then it expanded its on-campus uh, structure as well to what you see nowadays. Prior to 1997, the university contracted with a small bus system, like a shuttle service, that ran from a remote parking lot to the library. They used some vans, and then they were able to purchase some used buses from UCF, and it just eventually rolled into their own system. In its early years, like I said, it was a small system. Um, it didn't run all day. It ran during peak times. Um, there was also a, a mall shuttle that was implemented in the early years through about the lunchtime, like 11 to, to 2. Um, the mall has been a financial partner of the Bull Runner, if you will. They've sponsored their route for several years, and that, that midday shuttle turned into a regular route. We have six routes, and the routes are lettered A through F for easy identifiers. We service all major stops on campus, as well as some stops within the campus area. For example, we go to University Mall, the Walmart, some other shopping districts, and all some major apartment complexes north and south of campus. In 2011, we added our sixth route, which is Route F. Prior to that, for several years, it was just five routes. Um, we expanded to midnight, all routes. We've also added the Bull Tracker, which is the GPS tracking system on the buses. We try to match the school schedule as much as we can. During the um, class days, we operate from Mondays through Thursdays from 7 a.m. till midnight. On Fridays, we operate from 7 a.m. till 5.30 p.m. Saturdays and Sundays, we operate from 2.30 till 9.30 p.m. I use Bull Runner every single day when it comes to traveling in between classes to go to Marshall Center, go to the library, and just as like my main form of transportation on campus. I think the Bull Runner system is a great idea, but also implemented very terribly. Because sometimes it causes a lot of frustration throughout semesters. My experience overall has been positive. I feel like the routes cover up a large portion of campus and are very accessible to other um, heart bus routes. I use the bus for grocery shopping and going to school. I think the Bull Runner system strengths is usually when they have maximum amount of buses out and spaced correctly where there's always a bus at least five minutes behind the other just faster transportation and it also goes and reduces traffic flow for like every single person taking the bus there's one less car on the road. I wish it served down at Fowler because it has like a store called the MD. It's an Asian store but it's very cheap, very cost effective. I think a lot of students would benefit if the Bull Runners actually went down there. It would be much longer having to walk all over campus. From one end to campus to the other is like 30 to 40 minutes and that turns into just like 10 minutes on the bus. If you have a park and ride USF parking permit, we have two park and ride lots on campus. Several routes go by those two lots and you can get to pretty much anywhere on campus. It goes through all the campus districts. Buses show up every seven to 12 minutes or people come in from Hart, Hillsborough Area Regional Transit. USF students can ride Hart for free. It's the county's transit system. Just nearby the campus is the University Area Transit Center, the UATC. Route D currently runs through that location. So any of the main Hart routes that come to USF go to that terminal. You can then transfer to a Bull Runner bus and get onto campus. We brag over a million riders a year and we really pride ourselves on that because it really shows that people are utilizing the service as it was intended. Probably some of our main goal, of course, is we continue to concentrate a lot on student success initiatives. It's important that we align ourselves that way so we're looking forward to a student population growth which will hopefully allow us to grow our fleet to be able to offer additional hours that we're not fully at um, uh, fully in sync with a student's class schedule. 
Um, additionally, we're hoping to also build our charter service. Currently, we offer charters to the athletics department as well as other on-campus areas, and we'd like to, um, to expand that to ensure that we can meet all charter needs of the USF community.